awesome. Hola, que tal, mis amigos, or hello, fellow Lego people. My name is Aaron, and I was in Spanish mode there for a second. Why? Because I found a really cool Cuban modular cafe mock by Brickative on Rebrickable. So I love modular buildings, as you probably know, and most Lego modulars are in kind of this European laid back color scheme. So when I saw this really vibrant Cuban cafe by Brickative on Rebrickable, I'm like, I need these instructions right now. So I bought the instructions. I didn't have the money to farm all of the actual Lego parts needed. So I found this imitation or boot Lego set online and it was really well done. It came with numbered bags and a printed instruction booklet and many figures, which we'll get to later. Yeah, check out this booklet. It's full color printed. Um, there's even other buildings in this series. I don't know where this came from, but it was impressive. It's, it's even got stickers, which I didn't apply. I'll probably end up making my own stickers. Um, I have a video for that if you are wondering. Um, but anyway, here's the build in time-lapse form. Brickative, this set is awesome. Um, I completely recommend it. I will put the instructions or the link to the instructions in the uh, description of the video so you can find them and purchase them. It's totally worth it if you want to farm the parts uh, or if you go to the dark side like me and buy imitation Lego, you can do that too. But look at this thing, it's vibrant, it pops out at you and you immediately notice this really cool sign. This cafe sign can be read from either angle, the green or the pink. Very well done, Brickative. Love that. Um, one thing I did tweak is I removed some plates there to kind of give that C a little more um, oomph. Um, this sign did move a little too much for my taste, so I swapped out this pin with a stud, and it kind of keeps that sign from moving around if you move your building around. Another change I made was I thought this palm tree and the trash can were a little too close to the wall, and they didn't give me the right parts to make Brickative's like Cuban shirt guy there. So I made my own mural with a palm tree and a sun, and I moved the actual palm tree and the trash can out towards the street a little bit. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the building itself. Um, on the left, you see that orange section is the apartment building, and the yellow section is this beautiful cafe with these arches out outside on the patio. You get some lights hanging down there, and the apartment is a little cramped, but that's okay. Uh, one cool thing that Brickative does, I love this, Lego doesn't do this, you can remove the wall to get to the inside of your buildings and position your minifigures. You see this little section flips up here where the barista can go behind the bar and get coffee or tropical drinks ready. Uh, this door backs up to the kitchen area, which is on the other side where your chef can prepare some food. And as you can see, here it is with the Brickative built wall that pops back on. So second floor, you get more uh, seating area in the cafe and a bathroom, as well as a really cool kitchen for the apartment. It's got a, a refrigerator back there, and you can uh, take this part of the wall off to have access to the cabinets. I didn't put the stickers on the cabinets, because like I said, I'll probably make my own. But yeah, you see a little kitchen upstairs for the, for the apartment, and here is the wall section that you can remove to get to the bathroom and the other seats in the cafe on the second floor. Finally, top floor, you get your last floor of the apartment and a cool patio. The apartment, you get to it by taking the roof off first and then that brick built wall where you get this antique television and coffee table and a vintage red sofa. Very, very cool part usage by Brickative. Love it. Um, here's the outdoor section where you can hang your towels up and your clothes. So let's talk minifigures. This set came with minifigures. Usually these counterfeit Lego sets don't, but these had arms that moved in any position. They were a little creepy for my taste. So I went to my local minifig store and bought my own minifigures and made um, some characters. I figured these are kind of the, the old Cuban couple that's lived here for years, and this is their favorite coffee house to go to. There's your barista there serving you up some drinks, and here's the grizzled old chef making eggs in the kitchen for you if you're hungry at breakfast time. And finally, a couple tourists up on the roof air drying their clothes. They're ready for swimming. So overall, I have to say I loved these instructions. Nice work, Brickative. These are highly recommended. Check this video's description for a link to those instructions. I want more, and thankfully, Brickative has provided more. Look at this. It's a Cuban hotel, so come back next time for a review of that set. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Come back, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, as always, keep on building.